Kira kira how am I? Greetings and welcome. I'm Guru. We are back in the Cascade Hills with the last ones out. Hess is looking, well, either tired or not very impressed with how things are going. And you can see why. Welcome to the game, Guru. Welcome to the game. Not a very good shot with this thing. <laughs> Alright, these guys should be able to take care of that. Look at them go out like good little, uh, good little dwarves. My merry men. And one. Bashing the crap out of them. What? Out. Oh, he's a, he's a bad one, that one. I guess we were due for a run of good luck. Well, there we go. Some bonus influence at the start. Right, we have bigger plans than that, though. Uh, so at the moment we've got a mission possibly about the Z Thumpers who have lost a friend. Um, I'm not sure what that uh, mission tree will actually do for us. But in the broader sense of the word, our strategy is we want to start unlocking this area here because it's the last area where we can possibly get some loot before we, you know, start looking at taking this on. Um, and as you can see, every heart is awake and... Almost every building is looted, which is a bad combination. So I'd really love to take out this plague heart, but this brownish house has a level three infestation. Um, so what we're thinking we might do is come down and see if we can have a couple goes at it, a couple goes at it and uh, treat it like a campaign, if you like, a campaign. Let's just check our Oh, man. Hydroponics are working. Screamers everywhere. So we're growing food. We just loaded up a ton of meds from a uh, from a mission at the end of uh, yesterday's stream. Um, we're low on materials, but we're looking to build a level three command center, which we are not far off from doing. Not far off at all. Let's get that morale right up there. Okay, so do we take Hess? Why not? Yes, yeah, so are you up to a run? Let's see, we've got... Hola, ¿qué tal? Hmm. Let's give him something heavy, just in case it comes to it. So, Kanabo, that's what he's been using. Uh, we'll give him slightly better than that. Oh, we've got much better than that. That's looking pretty good, actually. We've got 14 fire, so if it comes to it, we'll use the fire... And we'll take a plague cure. But as we know, as soon as I take a plague cure out into the wilderness, uh, things go horribly, horribly wrong. And pursuit mines. So my plan is that. Can we carry even more? We can, you know. Um, We've got a lot of ammo too. That's not my favorite gun. Where is my favorite gun? That's my favorite gun. That's pretty heavy. It's pretty broken, but we've got the parts. Just probably. Shit. Oh, that juggernaut looks extra freaky. Yeah, the uh, the the freaks are just lining up outside the base sure at the moment. Easier when you could just blame those damn kids for ruining America, right? Yeah. Well, we've got some trashing to do. Sorry, salvaging to do. But for now, I think this is a pretty reasonable start. Can we take some of those too? Don't no, we can't. Them. What about snacks? We can take some snacks. All right, we got a full load. Let's go. What we probably should take is... Wow. Uh, is first aid kit. So let's grab that. Remember to breathe. It's easy for all the yeah, a little bit nervous about this one, folks. A little bit nervous. Two of them? Yep, sure, fine. This was pretty busy in the last episode. And he's going out one last time. Sorry, one more time. What do I mean, one last time? Foreshadowing technique. No, we don't know how this one's going to pan out. But we do know that there is an enclave nearby which we can uh, which we can probably handle. What we'll do is we'll use a... Uh, a I'm going to clear out an infestation. Good work. 
cut our leader off and head off into the wilderness. So he's off to kill an infestation. Hopefully the the one which is the siege site, because we don't really want sieges at the moment. Not because we are afraid of sieges, but because we've got better things to do. So I think we've got, what, 15 or 14 play carts to go. There's probably not 15 buildings left to loot on the map, so we're going to need to reuse our radio call for rucksacks and the like going forward. Ah, there we go. We just got some more fuel, got some more food. Excellent. So the economy is holding up. Well, we may have to craft our way to victory, which sounds expensive and is expensive. So why are we going this way? We're coming from the south because we don't want to wake so up that uh, level 3 infestation, severity 3 infestation, prior to hitting it, prior to hitting that heart. But if we do, we've got pursuit mines, which we'll just, uh, we will just leave. Okay, the forage, foragers. I'm not sure who they are. Hmm. They seem new. Well, we'll see how we go against this plague heart. And if it chews us up and spits us out, then we might go and meet this new enclave. And see if they want to help me out. Which they'd be crazy to do, but the AI never says no when you've got 100 influence. Show me the influence. Alright, we're going to have to beat up some zombies before we go in. Right. Now, we may have a fight on our hands. Because we were quite loud. Level 2 infestation there as well. Tell you what. We've taken out the feral. Let's go in there. Take out the others. Yep, we certainly woke up the neighborhood. some bullets out of this side. Whoops. We bring sacks. Oh, we forgot to get them out of the car. Right. Let's see what we're up against. Fuck, my eyes are burning. Hang on in there, buddy. Screamers, like zombie screamers, pain in the ass. Man, this is heavy. Ah. 
course there's a lot of them. God damn it. That doesn't really seem to be much in. Coming through it. Running, 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 running. At least as quiet as it can get this close to a play card. Could have gone worse, could have gone better. I lost track on how many ferals there were. But if we can engage from range, we can pick them off. Alright, we might have left them behind. Alright, but we're down to two stims. There, though, we did get a. Uh, we did manage to get a phase on it. That feral's head is armored. Eyes on feral. That's what we need. Eyes on feral. Only there was some sort of way I could see where the zombies were around me, like a mini map or something. Oh, he's behind the fence. Here it comes. Did he hear that? Someone did. This is a smart way. All right, one of the ferals down. Is this risky? Could be risky. Almost empty on that. It's the point in having first aid kits if you're going to be scared to use them, right? Might be alright, or the ferals may have tethered to the site. We just don't know. Find out. Well, right I did not see any ferals come in. Shot. 
Wasn't pretty, but I got the job done. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Eyes on target. Running, 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 running. All right. Reload. Can't afford any more damage. Thing is nearly dead. Hi, I think we could benefit from working together. How about we uh... Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Get in there. We should be able to start securing this area now. Oop, don't want to go that way. Oop. on everything. Well, that was a feral... Because everything else feels like it is. I'm a blunt man myself. Yep, me too. Guns are good. Alright. Well, that's lightened the load. Let's see what we got. We're still in plague zone. That's fine. Get the food. Yes. Uh, we need parts, so... Grab the stuff worth parts. All right, super heavy now. All right, that took some doing, but oh, it's only opened those up. So we need to kind of take that one out as well. Didn't quite pan out how I wanted. Could have done a bit better recon to get the gains from it but hey we're we're doing all right killed some ferals it's way too close to my liking Kind of hoping we might be able to uh, uh, to outpost that, but maybe not. Oh, so this is where all the plague zombies hang out. Huh. Wonderful. Oops.
Wandering Trader Network Barter Agent. Wow. Okay. All right. That was a bit of a rough ride, really. But we got the job done. Cost a lot. All right, so we got survivors in need. Good Samaritans. Or wandering trader. We got 25 minutes for that one. These are just up the hill, so. Oh, excellent. That's on its way out. That's good. Okay. Or it's going to get us all their guns because they're already dead. Now I've got to keep an eye on my plague. Any chance you can help us out over here? Oh my word. Everyone wants my help at the moment. Can't they see I'm busy? So, plague cure, we can actually afford these days. But they are very, very precious. We'll have to see who's asking and how much we like them. First things first, let's uh, get out of town. Gas situation is okay. Quieter out here. Them. Well, they might be lucky. If we can do this without using our play cure, we might just give them the one that we've got. Always do with more friends. Yeah, this is the place. That's cheating. Oh. Looks like we fucked up there. <laughs> we did not fuck up. Not in the slightest. See that feral though? Did that spawn right on me? That's what it felt like. Yeah, right. See if there's any better stuff than that. I found some things that just might be useful. Yeah, that's that's useful. These guys don't have shit. Stims though. Stims very good. Alright, City 5. Uh, side, that's a good gun. But it's just not worth a lot, you know? In terms of parts or influence or anything, really. We can't actually open our trunk. Pretty full anyway. We can stack that. Right. Let's go get a couple light objects. This shit is heavy. Getting a little bit picky here, but worth it, I think. That's worth 40 parts, which will be 80 by the time we've finished with it. Ah. Worth a little bit more. Load 
in my final mag now. All right, so these guys who need our help are right here. The Lone Rangers. Are they friendly? They are friendly. So, for the sake of the play cure, you see it's like they're growing trees. We're going to make some friends. Oh, we're going to leave all that horribleness behind. Creepers, creepers. Oop, too bad. Lashings of extra feral. Holy crap. Alright, do we remember where these guys are? Take a wee shortcut. Be nice to get home before dark. His Hess is a bit tired and he has a tendency to get into trouble. But he has been doing some work, that's for sure. Fuck. How do we get that much played? Did we? Uh, must have. That feral must have got a couple of scratches or something on him. It looks like it's gone up. Ugh. This place, we had a heck of a fight in this place. Still plague cure, eh? It'll be worth it if they give us plague supplies. Make yourself at home. Or even meds. Take it easy. Who needs it? Gary. Thank you. I'd better be seeing you soon. Training and advice, experience bonus. Hey, what's up? Yo, wanna trade? Yeah, sure. If I get any sicker, I'll need a bullet to the face. Sounds pretty bad out there. Like, pretty bad time not to have a plague cure. Alright, everyone just. Everyone just keep calm and let's not lose our, our shit, okay? Um, that's not what I meant by that. We'll get uh, we'll get another materials rock off these guys. So this will pay off. This will pay off. Hey, how's it going? Yo, want to trade? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, trade that. And for twenty two, that's thirty five parts. We might fix our car before we go back. Um. Build the sucker up. I'm close to the wire here. Ah, bugger. Still pretty bad. All right. Um, we're fine. Let's get back to base. Nervous about going back this way. You just go slowly and carefully. There we go. The engine's pretty good. It's just the doors and the body of the vehicle which has been trashed, which uh, which is okay. I mean. At least if we hit any zombie or anything like that, it's not going to burst into flames. 
because we are carrying a payload back. Now, I'm a bit nervous about taking on another plague heart at night. We've got that network trader to, um, to talk to as well anyway, because they might have a signal antenna. Booyah! Alright, so we definitely need more materials, though. Alright, can someone hop on the radio and call around for some scavenging spots? We've got people on it. Get this stuff away. Yo, what up, people? Dry bank. I'm not sure where that is. But I know where the medicine cabinet is. Boom. Good work, Hiss. Champion. And we'll see what that... Um, What was I saying? I was going to say. We'll see what uh, that um, new enclave is going to give us. We do have Zedi if we wanted to take on a fake heart at night. Oh, we've got a dude across, uh, infestation across the road. So, let's have a look. Wandering trader. She's just up the road. So, we'll do that. The materials are... Double. And our new allies are giving us training and advice, experience bonus. So I guess that's just, you know, pretty good. And so where's Ken? Ken, you've got a job to do, mate. Ken is our driver. Which makes uh, scouting his forte. So let's see, what have we got? I'm going to take that. Um, not really looking to cause trouble. I just feel like I'm in the right place with the right people. I'm pretty sure we've got one of these that we can just whack on that. There we go. And we don't need a lot here. Let's take some snacks. Um, yeah, we'll take a cure. What's our fuel situation? Seven. That's actually not too bad. We'll take some fire, but we'll try not to use it. And let's see, what can we trade? A load of backpacks. Probably need parts more than we need influence. But even so, I just don't think they're worth a lot, so. Salvage 10. Yeah, we'll sell the ultralights, they'll be worth a bit. All right, Ken. We could use more building materials around here. Yeah, we certainly could. So if we're lucky, this trader, network trader, will have a uh, we'll have a signal antenna and some materials. If it's a signal antenna, then that gives us a chance to have six outpost slots. And then the resources can come rolling in. Because we can handle the we can handle the jandal for um Wow, he can just carry a ton. Oh, oh. Alright. 
Go Ken. Yeah. We know we know how to deal with infestations now. And outposts. We've learned how they work. Almost wondering whether we should farm that one up. Let it become a severity two or severity three. Interestingly, it's not a siege outpost, even though it's the very closest. Go figure. All right, band's in much better shape now. I, f I do feel better about that. It is unofficially our uh, our tenth community I'm member. With the network. Hopefully, you've heard of us. I have. There it is. Heavy damn load. That makes me happy. We've still got to tear down an outpost in order to put it up. Which is unfortunate. But hey. Ready to do this? Works for me. Okay, so that costs us net 300. Um, let's see, what's our Banffor Slugger? 12 pounds. As much as I like it, no. What about some extra food? You interested in trading? Works for me. There we go. Economy boost. Excuse me. All right, let's get back to base. Get that in our locker, and we'll check our base, and we'll just uh, our outpost options and see what the best move is. Because we're gonna have to break one of them down, so preferably a cheap one. And then we've got to think, where are we gonna put these two new outposts we're gonna get? Perhaps we can wait. Perhaps we don't have to rush into it because we've still got to get the materials so that everything keeps running as it should. Right. Secured. We can get up here and search amongst those and get some materials. That would be just fab. So we'll prep properly for a longer excursion. If we have to tear one of them down, it's probably going to be Chung Dynasty Restaurant. Level 2, level 2, level 2. Yeah. So Chung Dynasty will come down, and then we'll put in our... Um, we'll put in... Do we need to though? If that's up and we've got a spare one, then I'm thinking. So that gives plus one max outposts. I'm not doing that. So if we've got five and a blank one, if we used it, will that drop an outpost or will it keep four? Hmm. Conundrum. I've got a feeling the game will try and stiff me on this one. You know what I mean? It just occurred to me now that I didn't take any ammo with me. That's okay. No, we will use the, uh, I think we will use that crossbow, wherever it is. Yeah. 
Might as well. We've got the crossbow bolts. Let's use them, eh? All right. Let's go, Ken. Oh, no. We can do with some better spear stamina. In case things get real. There it is. So, if I remove my outpost here... I shouldn't lose one, right? Because it should drop back to four, is what I'm thinking. Hopefully, if it does, we'll lose yeah. Chung Dynasty. See what happens. Cross fingers. Is it going to stiff me? No. Excellent. Boom. It'll take a little while, two minutes to get in. And then, uh, in the meantime, let's hit the road. Times are wasting. This gives us a lot of op uh, a, a lot of options, especially as we, you know, as we slowly clear the map, we can move our outposts closer and closer to the plague heart nests. And then we can use those outposts to rearm and make multiple attempts on play cards, which will whoop, which will mean we don't quite have to put it all on the line every time we fight a, a play card, which is what I tend to do anyway. But it will give us some more options. It's a bad place for a jug because he's going to run down here and block this off, probably. All right. There's a shortcut up here somewhere. If I take out the nearest plague heart, this should clear up. It should clear up. But when you say plague heart, we probably mean like at least three or four of them. This is a good spot. Heck. I really should take care of that. Let's get eyes. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is just plain nasty. But we may be able to get in and out. Love it. We had to wait a long time for that public agent. Well, that is promising. That he said that means that there's no deadheads in here. Which means we can loot it. We are not getting off our knees. we go see what else we can get while we're in here we're winning folks we're winning not bad. Not either. yeah it could be a useful get out of town get out of dodge item right here and right now really is that it wouldn't it be funny if this was another materials ruck No, but better than coffee. Sledgy. Gas can. Pipe. All right. Right. 
So this feral could be freaking anywhere. Away from the house. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. See you, Vonda. Thank you. Wow. Reinforcing hordes. See, they're what make the game. That's where the update has done some... Uh, made some influence on the on the base difficulty of the game not the infestations themselves not the plague hearts themselves but We're the extra the real soon unless we handle these infestations right fucking now but the extra uh hordes and freaks roaming around my car uh -oh. turn them around that way yeah here's my car here's my car Oh, it's just a play sample. Running, 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 running. Well, wow, crouching, crouching, cr crouching. Get in there. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Whoa! I was close. All right, we got the prize. We got the prize. Surprise, surprise. May the sun rise tomorrow. We'll take it to the hearts. We'll also establish some more outposts. Now, Chung Dynasty is defended. We've got ammo up in that, but it won't last. But nor is it a particularly useful... Well, I guess its location is pretty good, but it's not, it's not critical. We could abandon that if we wanted to without too much trouble. But getting another food outpost could be quite good. And there are options on the far side of the map. Either before or after we take out another play cart. We'll look at those options once we get back to base. Keen on your thoughts. If you've got any ideas, do let me know. There's a fruit stand. If we can clear out one more infestation out there, which would be uh, infestation play cart that would be fantastic are there any kind souls out here I could really use a hand yeah I don't know about that a mysterious broadcast kind souls all right good work Reinforcing hordes. Oh no, he's on to inf he's on his way to infest a new site. And so the mysterious broadcast is there. Those guys, doctor's house. Oh, that sounds promising, doesn't it? How we doing? We're doing all right. But we're gonna arm up a bit better than that for this one. Let's go with. That's what we got. Good stuff. We're going to see what this because this could. We're going to see what this mission is because this could be the plague doctors. If it is the plague doctors, then there's a good chance we'll be able to get a. Uh, we'll be able to get a chem station out of them. Now, I don't use scent block, but we could try using some of the um, 
some of the other craftable um, plague supplies like bloater gas uh, bloater cloud grenades for sure ZI, sure it's adrenaline, sure all useful stuff we still haven't set up our outpost but I'm, I'm, I'm going to let that percolate I'm going to let you guys suggest where I should set them up Going all right. Nice. Apparently, I left. Ah, play cart supplies. Wow, why not? Jerry. Strange. My friend was meeting with a trader, but hasn't reported back. Can you track her down? Sure. Let's help each other out. Sounds like a plan. More materials. Yeah, I'm sure we'll we'll earn it again. Okay. Uh okay. What are we doing? Talk to Jerry to learn what he wants. I thought we just did talk to Jerry. Good. Right. That's right. I just traded. I didn't actually ask him how I could help. All right. This doesn't feel like it's the plague doctors. Never mind. That's all right. We'll see. We'll see what it is. There seem to be more and more missions turning up on the map that I haven't really played before. For example, the uh, uh, the mission where you've got to fight oh, um, well, Hess, Hess uh, is my survivor who's always look, wants to go looking for meds. And he went to, see, and we went with him, with Hess to see who had uh, to link up with the uh, old enemies to see whether they'd be into trading. We managed to rip them off, and then they shot at me. In fact, they did more than shoot at me, they shot me. But we got away, and we got away with the loot. Get your ass out here. That one's not dead yet. That's locked. It's still locked. Ah. Sure. Ugh, I can smell them. This many? It's going to be a situation. Oh, great. Well, she's got a good gun. She's got a BAR. Yeah, we should be fine. This is not a situation. In the house? Ah, I think this is the one they dropped scent block. And then all the zombies come. If it is... Yeah, that's the one. Okay. When we pick that up, time to go. Come on, get in the freaking car. Get in the freaking car. This is the worst mission ever. Somebody just hitched a ride. Woo. Tell you what, I've, the first time I did that mission, I scarcely got out alive. I picked up the scent block and was standing around going, now what happens? And then I saw what happens. Basically, the map comes alive and zeroes in on your location. Everything. Everything. Hordes. Freaks. They all try and kill you.
It was not the plague doctors, but we did survive. We we did save someone, so it's better than nothing. Here we are, safe and sound. I'm lucky you were around to help. Uh, cleaning station or scent block? Um. Uh, I'll take the cleaning station. Oh, she just dropped it on the floor. You did? Never mind, I got it. All right. Well, you know, we can trade it. Like I say, I only, I only really use scent block for going to collect maps, on, uh, cars on the other side of the map, that sort of thing. So seeing as we've got one, we might use it for exactly that. But I generally only use them when, you know, absolute last resort. And we're a long way from last resort. We're on the front foot. Zombies beware. With our new network signal, our signal antenna, we've got two outposts, which we can use to improve both our ability to get around the map and our resource production. And we got it for mostly free. Nice. They're contemplating something. Ah, they're contemplating games night. Let's get that going. Right, so we've got two empty outpost slots. We've got two empty beds as well. Uh, well, sorry. We've got negative two empty beds. How are these guys getting on? We might try farming that. If that becomes a level two then uh, they'll start dropping some stuff for us. Because basically there's going to be nothing that they can throw at this base. That we can't handle. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. So if we... Okay, so we chuck that. Chuck that. Wow, we're always doing that. So at the moment it says that we're losing two and a half per day, but we're not. We're essentially growing food about two and a half per day. Meds were even. Ammo, we're plus one. Materials and fuel. So we could get... What I'm thinking here, folks. What I'm thinking is we'll get a materials outpost so we're not losing materials. But what am I going to use materials for? Keeping everything running. Or I could... How many... Ah, oh, two for that. For the Leeds concrete silos. Um... We could also see this fruit stand would be a great spot if we can take that out. Um, alternatively, we could take the Crit Account Country Veterinarian Clinic, though it would get overloaded pretty quickly. But if we. All right, we'd need to take out two play cards for that, whereas one for that. Hmm. But we've got options. We're not really short of ammun... Uh, well, we're growing ammunition. So we're maintaining that. What we probably need to do is chuck in a salvage furnace and get ourselves some parts. And we'll do that right now. Here in salvage weapons. Right. Because we need parts in case we need to do anything particularly quickly, like make fuel bombs, grenades toolkits the list goes on so that's only a couple minutes away which is pretty good i mean we could get our our beds but i don't think it's hurting us too badly plus someone's going to die someday get that for sure seven minutes on that watchtower can be upgraded at some point in the future if we wanted to Probably not a bad idea, seeing as what's going on out there. So, let me know in the comments what you think I should do with my outposts. 
This up here, I think, is a construction site. I don't think that can be infested. So that's basically a free... an infestation um, safe outpost where we could build materials. But it's in a um, pretty useless position from the map. Alternatively, we can go for something a bit more useful uh, in terms of location. And just, you know, use our outpost defenses. We've got options for artillery. <laughs> All right, so we need influence before we do anything else anyway to, to make these new infestations. Uh, sorry, help us. So we've probably got a few things to do um, in the next episode anyway. So do let me know what you think about these outposts. I'll catch you for the next uh, episode. Probably going to be a stream on the weekend, so we'll see how we go. Um, but if not, let me know in the comments what I should do. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate your support. And thanks for watching. Hope to catch you for the next one. Bye for now.